In this video, we are going to see how we can install Langflow in a Docker and uh, secure it over SSL with Cloudflare tunnels. This tool is an AI tool that can help you build a agents or AI flows with drag and drop interface. The tool is similar with the Flowwise one. This tool is built on uh, Python and with Docker you can easily deploy it and you can start using it and see if uh, it's better than Flow AI for your need. And uh, this is their website and in here you see that uh, you will have the details, you have the GitHub repo in here that you can check. This has a lot of uh, stars. It has like uh, more than uh, 20,000 stars of this point. It reached the one point uh, version. I will create an article in here with all of the things that uh, you need to do to install Langflow. We are going to go through it when we'll have the installation. And uh, I have installed it already in here so you can uh, check it and see it before going to install it. So this is the interface you see in here that the tool is installed on the langflow.bidos.com domain. It's using a SSL certificate and you can access it via a user and a password. You can uh, expose it to the internet. And basically this is the UI interface. And in here you have in the left side, the component section where you can add various things. So in here you, have, you see the inputs like chat, text, you have the output for chat text. You have the prompts in here that you can add to customize your AI flow. You have data in here with the API request file that you can add models in here. You can use most of the models on here. You can use the anthropic one. You can use the open AI one. You have the Mistral, you have the Grok, you have Google one and so on. You can also use the Olama to self host your AI agents. LLMs. In here you have some helpers with uh, chat memory theory that you can add to enhance your flow and uh, make it remember the conversation you you have and other other things that you have in here you have vector stores for your uh, rag application so you can use in as you can see in here you can use the MongoDB PG vector that I've created a tutorial of how you can install it. You can use the Pinecon and so on, Redis, Superbase. You have uh, embeddings in here that you can use to create your rug applications with it. So basically this is the UI and you have a dark mode for this UI that you can use. You see in here, you can enable the dark mode if you, you want. And in here I've created a basic chat bot that uh, is demonstrating the capability. So to create a chatbot, you need to add a chat input. And in here you have the language made model. In this case is the anthropic one. You see it in here. You have the model that you can use. You add your key, you can choose the temperature. And here you have the chat output. And to play around with this, you can go to playground like this and you can type something. And you'll see that he will respond to your question. Of course, you can add prompts to enhance it. You can add memory to remember the conversation you have. You can add external sources to transform it in a rug application. And in here you have the API, for instance. And in here you have some options to run it with Carl. You can run it with uh, Python directly. You see in here, this is our, some example how you can use it. You have the JS API, you have the chat. You have some tweaks and yeah, this is the, the interface here. If you can go back, you see, you have the project with all the things you have also store options, which is free. You just need to link your API and uh, you can uh, use one of the community flows that were developed in here. You see, you have agents, for instance, that you can choose from and use them. And to add the API key, you just go in here and uh, just go to the Langflow API and you add your API in, in here. So you can use some of that flows. You have global variables in here that you can set. Other things, you have the settings in here, the admin page that you can use. The settings is basically this one. You can change your password. In here you see the store API key. And you have the admin page and then here you have the usernames and you can create additional users if you want to to grant access to your team to use the Langflow tool. So let me clean up everything in here and then we're going to go and see how you can deploy this with Docker easily and secure it with an SSL certificate. Okay, 
So in here we have the article with the Docker Compose and everything that we need to do to have the Lang flow set up on our uh, Docker environment. And for this, the first thing that you will need to have it to have a VPS server with uh, Docker and Docker Compose installed. I've already created some videos and articles in the past of how you can do that. And I will also use Dogjet to deploy the Docker Compose because it's using a nice UI that you can use and uh, manage better the docker compose applications you have i will let a link into the description with a video that i've created so basically this is a docker compose file and in here we're going to go and check exactly what this is having so in here you see that you have the version and the services it's using the long flow database the first service and this is using the postgres database you can use also the sql light if you want but uh, I will use the Postgres one because it's more suitable for application with uh, high traffic. And in here you see that I have a health check that was added. I have a, the DB, I have a user, I have a password that it stored into the environment files to be secured and uh, it will restart on fails. And then I move to the long flow service and in here it's using the latest image. As you can see in here, you can use the tag with a version if you want but this will fetch the latest name image every time and right now it's 1.0.10 for this and in here i have a user which is root that i will tell the container to run on and the ports i'm using the 5060 ports for the external connections and the application is running on 7860 port again in here i have an uh, health check added so we can uh, see in case something is not right with the application and in here you have the environments to have the flow to have the long flow running and in here you have the database url with the users and the password that you are going to set in an environment file the configuration there so basically if you don't add this root user in here you will have an error with this configuration flow so that's why the root user is added in there i'm using the root user to run all of my containers and in here we have the volumes and this is for the database this is for the application and you have one for the database in here so in here you have the files that can be accessed and backed up on your vps server and let's go and fetch this file and go and create it so this is the dogj interface and i will just hit compose and I will create a lang flow in here and in here I will add the docker compose file and uh, this is using the exact thing that I've set in there. The next thing that we are going to need to do is to go into the environment and add the environment details in here. Already I have them in the article and in here we'll just copy them but before let's go and check what it's having so the postgres user you can change this with whatever you want the postgres database the postgres db and in here you have the lang flow super user so basically this will be used when you want to access the lang flow application with the user and the password we are going to see after we install this so i will copy this you can modify them as you like to secure them for your environments and yeah in here i will just let everything like this it will create a new uh, internal network for this application and right now for instance if we hit save right now we have the lamp flow and the next thing that we need to do is to go and start this this will take some time in the beginning because it will need to fetch all the uh, containers for this in my case this is uh, quite fast because i've already fetched it so we see in here that the first thing that will do it will start the database and after the database will be started it will go and start the application that will run on the 5060 port we're going to secure this with the cloudflare tunnels again if you don't have cloudflare tunnels configured you can go into my initial video how you can install dogge and you can see everything okay and in here you see that the lan flow has started it's healthy and it's it's working right now and uh, yeah you can even access it like this if you have the port opened but i've seen that this it's, it uh, doesn't actually actually work so 
you need to go and uh, configure a reverse proxy or use the Cloudflare tunnels for this. So I will go into my tunnel and in here I will add the public host name and in the zero trust. In here you have the tunnels that you have set up and you just need to add a public host name and in here I will add the lang flow and I will choose a subdomain. You can add on a domain if you want, it's up to you. And in here you have the HTTP option and in here I will just add the IP address of the server that uh, the application is running on. You can try with localhost if you want. It should work, but I am using the IP in this case. So I will add the port. And right now let's save this. So the type is HTTP, IP address with the port that you have set in the Docker Compose file. Of course you can run this without docj. You just need to go and create the Docker Compose file with the environment file and then you can run the docker compose up minus d and it will do the same thing as docj did. So we don't need actually docj, but yeah, in case you want to manage your container more nicely, you can try docj and see if it's, uh, it's better than command line. So right now we should have the lang flow set and let's go and access this. And right now you see that the lang Lang flow it is uh, started and it will prompt you for the login that you have set and in here I will just use my username and password okay and then it will log you in and in here you, in here you see that you don't have uh, basically anything in the in the beginning for this you can go and uh, create folders in here with your project you can add a new project you can start from from here so. This is the interface. I will hit create a new project and here you have some basic templates that you can use if you want to. For instance, you have the blog writer, the document Q&A, you have a vector store rug that you can choose from. You can link this to your uh, to their uh, community store. But for this, I will just go and do a an, uh, blank. And in here you can go and uh, add your things like the chat input, for instance, that you can go and link it to your, let's see, to your model with Anthropic, for instance, in here. And then you need a chat output that you can add. Let me see where it is, outputs. In here you have the chat output. And then you can uh, link the input like this. You have the text like this. And then you can go and add your uh, Anthropic API key or you can use the open AI one. It's up to you. And then you can test this if you want. You can also change the models from, from here. If you want, you can enhance this with other things. But basically this is how you can install the lang flow and start building your flows with the help of this tool. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and it helped you test the lang flow and see if it's better than flow-wise. It's having all the things that you need for building your AI application.